protector. He brought me out to the place of freedom. He saved me because of the light in me. You may have the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. How are you doing this morning? Good. Doing good, thank you. Wonderful. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves as we celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to conceal us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the cross of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, like, new, like newborn infants, long for pure spiritual milk, so that through it you may grow into salvation, for you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone rejected by, humans, by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God and like living stones. Let yourselves be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were no people, but now you are God's people. You had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and sojourners to keep away from worldly desires that wage war against the soul. Maintain good conduct among the Gentiles so that if they speak of you as evildoers, they may observe your good works and glorify God in the day of visitation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. He, his, we are. His people, the flock he tends. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his court with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. The Lord is good. His kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside daily. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. 
but he kept calling out, out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. So they called up the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way, your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This castle is very, very rich. We have a lot of things here that are very important for us. First and foremost, on this uh, blind man, he was there just begging people to give him money. He cannot see. But the question is, how did he, did he notice that Jesus Christ was passing by? Because he can maybe hear the, uh, the noise that people are making when they are passing by. Or maybe he asked what's going on and they say Jesus Christ is passing by. That means he needs those people who were following Jesus Christ at that moment, he needs them to let him know that Jesus Christ was passing by. A lot of people today are waiting for us. We who are following Jesus Christ, they are waiting for us to let them know that Jesus Christ is there. Those who are following Jesus Christ have to let other people know that Jesus Christ is there. That's the, the first thing. The second one is, when, once he noticed that Jesus Christ was passing by, he was uh, screaming, crying out to him, Jesus Christ, Son of David, have pity on me. And he was saying that, but the, the, uh, the crowd was telling him to stop calling on Jesus Christ. But he didn't stop. He was just screaming. But the question is, when he was screaming, calling on Jesus Christ, all those people who are around Jesus Christ was well, hearing him. They can hear him saying, Son of David, have pity on me. But the question is, Jesus Christ, when he said that he, he was now hearing what he was saying, no, he can hear him very clear. But he didn't say anything. He just continued his way, his of his way. But the guy was now finally, he stops and says, call him. And when they, they, they told him that Jesus Christ was calling him, he just jumped and he went there. And Jesus Christ said, what do you want me to do for you? But he can see clearly that he's, he, he's not seeing him. He can see that this guy is a blind man. But even though he knew it, he asked him, what do you want me to do for you? Here at my, when you are praying, God may not respond to you right away. Do not think that God is not, he's not listening to you. He's listening to you. But maybe he wants to know how far can you go in your faith. So you have to keep praying. 
Did I say, I'm praying, but I'm not receiving what I'm asking. I'm praying, but God is not listening to me. Yes, He's listening to you. But maybe your faith is not enough. Strong enough. So He's waiting for you to get at that point. And when you are in front of God, say clearly, tell Him clearly what you want from Him. That's the reason why He said, you, you are saying, have pity on me. So, so what do you want? Tell me that. And he said, I want to see. And I said, okay, go your way. And he was healed. So we also, when we are praying, it's very important that we tell clearly God what we need from him. And once you say, you, you do that with your faith, you will receive it. Because he's the one who told us that whatever we ask him, in his name, we will receive. Yeah. So we believe that. And we, we are confident that he will do it for us. Amen. 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 Let us present our petitions to our Heavenly Father. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide them so that they can lead the church with wisdom and strong faith for the salvation of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those suffering from mental illness, any type of physical or mental abuse, we pray that they receive the help that they need and the guidance from God. And that the violence on our streets will cease and we find love and peace. And the hatred in the hearts of those who continuously want to harm others, that they find love. And that we find a way to get rid of the guns that are destroying our families, killing our teens and adults, and bringing darkness to our city. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Praying for my sick family members and uh, here and my sick Tiffany family. I'm praying for those without God in their lives, without faith, without love, and the basic necessities. God will provide for them and show them mercy. I'm praying for all of us in our decision making as we step out into the world today. That God will uh, help us in our decision making and for us to do a better job and take care of the planet. I pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. I pray for all those who are suffering through who are going to war through that in their place of business to do the basic necessities, food, shelter, shelter the young people that are on the street. Pray for safety on that street. Pray for the end of violence and for the victims of violence. And for those who are sick and their family friends in our parish, special prayers for the soul. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of man's hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of man's hands, to become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who provide peace to be offered to your name, and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant us a source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. The the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, both on and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, both on and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending that your spirit to condemn that which you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was victory, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, and saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister unto you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with princes, our Pope, and their son, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor will be yours forever and ever. Amen. And this is just coming from the body by teaching. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
Praise you through the peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all these threats, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on the sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant for peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who come to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. Sing songs to the name of the Lord, both of I. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son. Amen. His mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.